the Zach, 65 from Palm Beach County, South Florida, is 117. 117. I was giving you an extra month there. 117 days alcohol free. Joe, how are you, mate? Great to have you here. I'm great. I'm sober and great. Yeah, so tell us, just tell us again how many days alcohol free you are and, you know, what your experience of the alcohol freedom life is now. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm 117 days uh, and I'm, uh, I gave, for my, for my 65th year, uh, for, my, for my birthday, I said, I think I'm going to give myself the gift of sobriety. And so I started back up with the 30 uh, day no alcohol challenge. And I done that. I did that before, and so I had spent almost a, a whole year of going without drinking. Uh, but then I went back and I started uh, practicing moderation, and it turned out that that was not something that was going to be successful for me. So then I decided that uh, for my 65th year, I'm going to decide to um, give it up completely, and 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 spend the remaining years of my life more present. Uh, just you know, less distracted, uh, and 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 not having to deal with all the effects that alcohol uh, has contributed to my life. Yeah, nice one. So, just tell us a little bit about what you do and how your drinking was affecting what you do. Well, I work for a, a, a large international consulting firm, and so I do a lot of traveling, and I have clients, you know, um, all over the world. And so, as part of that uh, engagements with clients and things, it's just very it's very common to have evening dinners, uh, gatherings, uh, uh, deals are made over dinners and uh, you know social activities and all of that. Uh, and then I have I also have a pretty uh, active social life here in South Florida, and so there's lots to do: pool parties every weekend, uh, yachts to you know to spend the weekends on, and things like that. And all of these activities seem to have a very large component of alcohol consumption in them. It was just a kind of like the natural thing to do. And what was your drink of choice? What, what type of alcohol were you drinking? Uh, I, I did, well, years ago, I used to drink martinis and, uh, and I gave those up because they were just way too strong. And so then I switched to vodka tonics, which was my kind of go-to cocktail hour drink and one or two of those would be the, what I would have at cocktail hour, you know, for that. But my true love is red wine. And that was the thing I worried about most about becoming alcohol free is how am I going to eat? How am I going to eat? You know, instead of how am I going to cook? Because even though, I mean, there's an old expression that said, um, uh, Whenever I cook, I always have red wine. I always use red wine. And sometimes I even add it to the food, <laughs> you know. So uh, it was one of those things where red wine was my, my real drink of choice. So you joined our 90-day program in a bid to cut out alcohol. So what, was there a moment where you chose, where you decided enough's enough, I really want to nip this in the bud again or forever? Or like, was there a moment? Was it, was it a build up over time? Like what was the motivating force for you to say, I'm going to cut alcohol out now? Yeah, I, I, there was, if there was a moment and I, and it, I guess it wasn't really that um, significant, but it was, uh, I got up mon one Monday morning after a pool party uh, at, at the condo complex where Sunday was a, was a great cookout and drinking started around three o'clock in the afternoon. And so cocktails and, 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 were, and drinking happened through to like nine, 10 o'clock at night. And so uh, I woke up that Monday morning and I felt really poorly. Uh, really bad. And I said, why am I doing this to myself? And I said, this, this is absolutely insane. And then, and I said, and, and, and I said, that was the turning point that I said, I, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to feel like this anymore. I don't deserve to feel like this anymore. And I have full control over that. So I thought, and then I said, uh, no more. I'm going to, and I'm I'm going to go back to uh, not drinking, and and for good, and for good, wonderful. And so you reached out again, and you joined our 90-day program. What happened? Just walk us through what happened. 
Well, I, I really, uh, I really had some success with the 30 day no alcohol challenge and the support group and all of that. So I, I immediately went back onto that. And, and, uh, and then I, and then uh, I saw um, either a, a clip that you had on the website or something came. I, I was somehow I stumbled across your program 90 for the 90 day focused uh, intensive group. Uh, and I, that's when I said, geez, I think, I think that if I'm going to do this and like I do with just about everything that I do is that when I, um, when I commit to it then I always look for coaches and ways in which to accelerate my ability to kind of uh, and engage in that new, that new venture. And then, and, and then also um, kind of assure my success in that. So I joined the 90 day group as well and bought so your what- book and bought your book. <laughs> Because I don't think the book was finished uh, when I was on the program many, uh, many about maybe maybe three, four years ago. And so, what happened when you were in the program in terms of the calls? Why were they beneficial? Who did you meet? Like, what was what really was valuable for you? Uh, what was valuable is, is a couple of things. Um, there, there's the, these. The, the program consists of what they call some accelerator modules or accelerator exercises, uh, and there were uh, and they and there was a weekly call that we had through Zoom. So I actually got to interact with and listen to other people's uh, challenges and what was working for them and kind of supporting each other. So the support of that focused group was really um, uh, and was really really good. But one of the things that really that worked really well for me is uh, one of the accelerators or parts of that is called the the, the daily twenty uh, gratitudes. And so when I had first heard about this, I said, "Wow!" And I've always journaled, and I always had some you know gratitudes and gratifications and things to be thankful for. And but then I said I, I had to make a list of twenty of them every day. I said, "I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that." And that turned out to be the easiest thing ever. And the thing that actually I enjoyed doing every morning, and it and it kind of grounded me and set me up for a successful alcohol-free day because it put me in such a good mood, positive attitude, um, feeling uh, confident uh, and and happy and joyful. And and one of the things about not drinking is that I was much more focused and tranquil in the morning. And so this was a part that I found was was something that was really impactful, which I was surprised by, actually, and uh, something that I definitely continue to do every day now. So I lost you there for a second. So, Joe, what's yeah. happened to your sleep? Oh, my sleep is excellent. I, uh, it's, it's very important. So I take my sleep seriously. Uh, and my sleep wasn't actually too bad before. But I think because of the uh, uh, effects of alcohol, uh, falling asleep was never really a problem for me, even when I was drinking. But I think the quality of my sleep from the alcohol was pretty disruptive. And uh, I actually track my sleep. Uh, I have some biosensors that I wear that actually tracks my sleep. And so it's, 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 it's phenomenal. Uh, the other thing is, is that I also um, are using the blue blockers that I got from uh, Swanee, Swanee's blue blockers. And uh, I haven't, I just started wearing those for a couple of weeks. And so I'm, I'm trying to track to see if, in fact, historically, if, if this is also going to be contributing to my sleep improvement. But my sleep is very, very good. Did you notice any um, shift in your productivity as a result of being alcohol free? Oh, yeah, it's tremendous. It was just tremendous. I mean, I was always kind of a, t- a type A personality and, and, and pushing and forcing things to be done. Uh, and, uh, and so I was pretty productive, um, even, even when I was drinking, but, uh, it's way easier now to get all that done. It's like, it's less struggle. It's much, it's easy. And in fact, it's, and in fact, um, uh, there's, there's like no stress or pressure about it. It just happens now. And so I'm, I'm not quite sure how to describe that, but it's, but, uh, it's maybe it's focus and maybe it's just being um, uh, more calm and, and then not being um, bothered by even even when things don't go correctly or, or, or something gets really screwed up and all that stuff. It is, it, it, I have a whole different way and perspective of of handling that, which I attribute to my sobriety. 
And what have you noticed about relationships or um, with friends, family, or you know, colleagues, clients? What have you noticed about your way of being and the relationships you have with the benefit of being alcohol free? So the uh, the I think which is. Uh, uh, I guess it's good. It's like I haven't really uh, lost any f- friendships or relationships regarding my change in who I'm being around alcohol. And so they've been, and and I think it's because also the, the friendships that I have that, uh, you know, a lot of them go back 40 years. And so it's, it's one of those things where they're, they're based on more than just casual acquaintances for going out and hanging out with drinking. I'm, and I think that's part of that. I, I really would like to, spend my time with, I, I, my value, my time as, as, as more precious than money. And so therefore, if I spend it with people, there have to be people that I really, really like. And they are, uh, and, and I guess maybe I have high standards of the people that I hang around with. Hence, I'm hanging around with you, James, a lot, because I like that. I have a high standard of people. Uh, but it's a, but it's one of those things where I haven't really had a ch- uh, any any bad experiences since I since I've changed about that. It's all been uh, consistent or better, and I'm a much better I think listener. And uh, my sister said it best though I think because uh, when I asked her, I did a feedback when I was about sixty in, in sixty days of uh, alcohol free. I did a survey. I asked several friends to give me some feedback as to uh, what what they're, uh, if they noticed anything about me and, um, and that I, I get to be honest and to, and, uh, to tell me the truth. And my sister said that, um, I, I was way more calm and much better to talk to and way less of an asshole than, <laughs> so, you know, that, that's all a good thing. Cause I think, I think the alcohol would make me kind of, um, curt and uh and intolerant and way more opinionated and le- and less accepting and tolerant and open-minded and engaging with people and what's your plan now joe for the future in relation to your drinking well um it, it's just every day i just go day by day uh i don't uh, i have very Maybe maybe once a week I might have an urge for something, and um, the, this is going to be my first holiday season in a long time without drinking. So with Thanksgiving and Christmas coming up, but I don't have any concerns about it. Uh, I do. I mean, I'll, I'll have my mocktails. I actually found um, um, some some dealcoholized red wine that I use every now and then when I want to have to, when I have dinner guests, and so I'm going to have a glass of that with with our dinner. Uh, and, uh, and so I kind of, so those kind of hacks take kind of tricks my brain into thinking that, you know, the, 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 the experience is there, but I'm not, to, I'm, I'm not including the, the poison along with the experience. So, so I have that as my backup, but other than that, I just like, I don't miss it. I don't miss it. And I'm, and it's not, and I don't have that. I never, I, for some reason, I never had that issue where if the alcohol is in the house, it's too tempting. Because that's that's not the reason I drank, because of it's there. So I never really drank from for being bored, I guess. So, um, so I have alcohol in the house. I have you know uh, wine for for guests and stuff like that. But I just I have it, it's 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 not tempting to me. What would you say to someone who's watching this who's thinking about taking a ninety day and beyond the break from alcohol, possibly coming in? Doing it without assistance and help. Oh, I would. I would say that if if you're truly committed to um, uh, uh, experiencing your life uh, alcohol free, um, then then you really should be. You really should seriously consider uh, doing this program because the program will give you a very high uh, opportunity for success in doing that, uh, and it also gives you the. A method and process to to kind of transition from where you are today to a better version of yourself, alcohol free. And I think once you get you know through that um, uh, experience, then there's there's like no turning back. And and so it's it's totally life changing. And f- um, from a cost perspective, it's like it'll be the best money you've ever spent. And uh, you spend, in fact, the, the you spend 
if you probably add it up, you're probably spending way more money on alcohol <laughs> than you would for the ability to become alcohol free and have a richer, more joyful, uh, more pleasurable, more exciting life without it. Thank you so much, Joe. Do you, do you feel happy? I do, but I wasn't never really unhappy. But, it, but you know, I think the it's like the it's like it's it's like one of those things where you maybe had you know uh, I don't know you like chocolate, but then like all of a sudden you get some like really really good chocolate. It's like you always had chocolate, but now it's like even better. I love it. Well, Joe, thank you so much, and thanks for sharing your experience, and thank you for playing Full Out and being such a, a wonderful positive energy in, on our group calls. So I really appreciate that because you're inspiring other people who come come behind you. Yeah, I'm sorry, I haven't really been on the group calls. I've been pretty busy with work, uh, but I am. I'm, I would like to rejoin those uh, anyway because I, I do like to participate in that. And again, I'm still on the journey because I don't think the journey ever ends. Uh, and uh, so I. I don't be surprised if you see me showing up there. Great, Jeff. Well, thank you so much. Uh, so appreciate you and congratulations again. Yeah, you have a good morning. Thanks for listening to the Alcohol Free Lifestyle podcast. I want to load you up with some free stuff right now. So if you want to go to jameswanick.com slash guide, I will send you my quit alcohol guide, which has helped six-figure entrepreneurs and top professionals reduce or quit drinking. You can also text the word quit guide to the number 44222 if you're in the US, of course. It doesn't really work anywhere outside of the US. But if you're in the US on your mobile phone and you'd like that guide, text the word quit guide to the number 44222 or you can go to jameswanick.com slash guide. If you'd like to schedule a free 15-minute call with one of my top coaches, just an exploratory call to see if or how we can help you, then you can go to jameswanick.com slash schedule, or you can text the word project90 to the number 44222 if you're listening in the US on a mobile phone. That's jameswanick.com slash schedule, or you can text the word project90, that's one word, project90, to the number 44222. Feel free to send me a direct message over on my Instagram account, which is at James Swanick. You can also watch video episodes of this podcast and a series of other educational videos on my YouTube channel, which is James Swanick One, or you can direct message me on Facebook at James Swanick Official. And finally, a request. Would you please now write a short review of the podcast inside of the Apple Podcast app on your phone or on iTunes on your desktop? Computer. Would you please give the show five stars and write a quick one or two sentence review? This will help the show get in front of even more listeners, potentially transforming someone's life. You can rate and review the show inside of your Apple podcast app on your phone or over on iTunes on your desktop. Thank you so much and I'll catch you next time.